From McMahon's Public House here in Brooklyn, New York, Vito Scalici coming from the St. Francis men's basketball tip-off dinner. Going into the season, the Terriers are going to be ranked number one. But the Terriers don't want to play the game on paper, they want to play the game on the court. Let's take a look inside and hear what they had to say about it. It really um, brings everybody together for the kickoff of this season for the uh, basketball team. And this year's really special because our men's team was picked number one in the preseason poll, so we're super excited. Yeah, it's great. You know, we got a nice group of people here, great crowd, and, and I think everyone's having a good time. This is a perfect, a perfect space. You know, one of the themes we have this year, obviously, you heard uh, Herman Garcia, athletic director, it's our turn, but, you know, we just feel we are Brooklyn. You know, we represent Brooklyn as a borough. We got a lot of guys who are from New York City, from Brooklyn area, so what better to have the place than a nice bar right next to the Barclays McMahon's and the space is wonderful. Nice outside patio, everyone's enjoying themselves, you know, they're having a great time and we're just happy to represent this borough. This borough is on the rise and we believe that we represent it and we showcase what Brooklyn's all about, tough, gritty and underdogs. And even though we're pick number one, like Coach Breaker said, we are the underdogs and we're going to always live by the underdog. So we just love to represent the borough and we're happy to have it here in Brooklyn. I'm loving it. It's nice seeing everybody around here, you know. Oh, friends, family, and school, all the alumni came down. Nice event. I'm happy that the coach breaking and the crew and the families here and the players came down to, to uh, support and did a lot of support in the Francis family. I played forever, you know, played four years and we never were ranked that high and now the guys are ranked that high. To me, it really doesn't mean anything. I, I'm happy the coaches, you know, respect what we're doing. They respect what Coach Breaker is doing and building a program. And he's done a great job of that since he's been here. But we all know you got to play the games. You know, you got to win the games on the court. Personally, it makes me feel a little jealous. Like, I want to be part of it. But uh, at the same time, I'm really happy for them. You know, I know all of them. I've kind of, like, grown with them. And I uh, really think that they're going to go out and win the championship this year. I feel like it's a good opportunity for them to go far this year, man. They got a lot of guys that's coming in. Matter of fact, they got a lot of guys to fill in each position. They look more athletic. They work hard. I, I watch a few practices. Man, I feel like they got it. They got a chance to take it. We're not anything yet. We got a lot of work to do. We haven't played a game yet. So we'll we'll take it as a compliment and move forward and just, you know, deal with it. No, it feels it, feel, it feels good. I mean, we, did, we haven't won anything yet, like Coach said, but we, we're going to have a target on our back, and we have a lot to prove to ourselves. You know, it just feels good to be around the love. We got so many supporters, so many people that really want to see us do great, and, and it's just a great atmosphere. And, you know, I really appreciate everybody who came out tonight. They really show that they have our back, and you need that during a tough season. You need to know people support you. 